uh, Facebook page, Jason Ford, incredible amount of work. Uh, John McGregor, absolute invaluable debt for him keeping the memory alive for as long as he did. The Wilshire Historical Village now for their take on a monumental task um, of saving and restoring uh, the, um, the signs. Kirk Jones, the young fellow for the uh, you know, Peter Hart, for his caustic comments that really sparked everything along. Um, and he's going to enlighten us now on some of the delightful artwork we saw, where they are now, and how we can access them. So thank you very much, Peter. Right, okay. I'm not used to round of applause, so I'm usually booed. Yeah. Um, my name is uh, Peter Racing. We are here this afternoon to talk about the 30th anniversary of Expo 88. Um, and there are a few thank yous I need to put in place uh, before we start. One of them is to a fellow up in King Roy called Jason Ford. Uh, and Jason runs the World Expo 88 Facebook page uh, and he's a TAFE teacher uh, and a chef from Kingaroy and he's done an incredible amount of artwork and re-digitalisation uh, of a lot of the, uh, the photos. So what are we here to talk about? Uh, building a modern day legacy World Expo 88 artwork child. Uh, and in the photo um, there is just a little bit of very unique history uh, on World Expo 88 um, and almost no one knows anything about this particular rainforest growth um, and uh, not Laurie Smith who was a landscape architect from Expo 88 uh, you can see my beautiful daughter um, now some years ago standing in front uh, of the, uh, the sign and that sign is actually about to be upgraded and that original sign which is now a little bit more tattier than what's shown there will actually be making its way up to the uh, Kabulja Historical Village. Now, the other person I need to thank uh, is Rick Birch, um, who a lot of you probably remember from uh, Matilda. Uh, and in 2012, he actually loaned me nearly 2,000 slides, his total personal slide collection. Uh, and that has been just a fantastic resource in the work that we've been doing. Uh, and Jason Ford has really digitalised this particular photo, but there's about uh, 40 or so other ones uh, that have been re-digitalised, which is about two days' work, meticulously sitting down and uh, retouching it up. And you can see this one uh, is uh, a beautiful Japanese scene with a big drum, uh, and it's got the little Expo 88 30th anniversary personal um, tribute in the bottom. Oh, now, someone you may know, uh, on the right hand side, it's not even paper music now. So, there's been a lot of people who've helped, uh, and Rick Jeffries, I must say, a special tribute. Now, Rick's standing here next to John Barlow Hudson, who will feature as we go through uh, the speech. So, Rick, I just wanted to say thank you. Uh, right at the start, uh, like uh, Jason Ford, to see so many helpers uh, along the way. Um, fellow on the, uh, the left up there, who you may know. Uh, Lord Mayor Grant Quirk uh, has really been a staunch supporter of the whole project and here he is being presented by Hugh Lang uh, with uh, the Wendy Turnbull Award back in 2016 for Graham's help in getting up and going uh, the Brisbane Tennis Trail which is also worth googling uh, and that was developed to uh, support the um, Brisbane International. Um, there's Graham again. Now, on the right hand side, my left, get out, get out to bear in mind as I flick back and forth. Uh, on my left uh, is one of the dancers, uh, which is now being, which we can now, uh, excuse me, which you can now find uh, in Manning Street. So in Manning Street, there are three Expo 88 uh, bits of memory. There will be the refurbished uh, Stephen Sky Needle, called the Night Companion originally. Uh, there is Vision, uh, which is sitting in Stephen's Jojo's car park, and then there are the dancers. Um, and the, this was the project rebirthing the Expo 88 art trial. Um, and how the Expo 88 art trial came about was basically principally 
due to these two people here. Uh, on the left, Peter Harvey, Channel 9 news reporter, who during the 25th anniversary had visited Morningstar, a, a piece of work by John Barlow Hudson, and had been graffiti the night before. Uh, and he very um, caustically made comment that the Brisbane City Council wasn't looking after the memory. A little bit unfair, but that's, that's the luck sometimes. Uh, but it did make the council workers, more so than the Lord Mayor, sit up and take notice and look after the artwork a little bit better than what they were. Now the fellow on the right up there, John McGregor, 2006, he was coming back from working in an expo overseas, and I'm not quite sure which one, he's been to almost every single one, um, and thought, what a great shame it is that Queensland wasn't looking after its expo legacy. And he set up a foundation called uh, World Expo 88 Foundation, uh, and he developed a real treasure trove of information on the on the internet, which when I came along doing some work for the Lord Mayor for the 25th anniversary, I stumbled across it and I got to know John, a real character, uh, and just a walking encyclopedia, more particularly on the pagoda, which he was a member of the saving committee. Um, and here's John. Uh, doing some of the original uh, Foundation Expo 88 YouTube channel work. There are now 400 YouTubes. Today's presentation, if my son stays awake. Are you awake over there now? He is actually. He's good. If he um, is not, he is. He's here at the suffering, so I can tell you. Uh, <laughs> and, but he's, he's a really good guy. Uh, my son, obviously. Um, anyway, John McGregor. So we, we had a pinky dye little camera like this, and there's a funny story that I'll I'll tell at the end in relation to another YouTube that we did. And we started recording, and as I said, there are now 400 recorded interviews up on the history uh, of the artwork. Um, and John, after 2006, prior to the 20th anniversary in 2008, used to go along to the South Bank every single Sunday for two hours. One person, no people, 20 people, didn't matter. He did a presentation on the pagoda, He's bilingual, knows about six or seven uh, Asian languages. Uh, so he could talk to the Japanese, the Chinese, the Indonesians, um, and he just told them the history of the Pagoda. Uh, and <coughs> just did an incredible amount of work to save the memory of, uh, of Expo 88. So we started back in 2006, uh, seven, uh, uh, 2012, um, to look around and try and find out just what had happened to a lot of the artwork. Now, on the left up there is uh, a piece called Gestation, uh, which is being shown that it's just being restored for the second time uh, in, its, in its life. Um, and it was, as you can see on the right, that's its position mounting platform. Uh, that's a demo and still is at Emma Miller Place. Uh, and it had gone off the display um, just after Roman Street Parklands opened, uh, so around 2009 from recollection. And it just has been a um, beautiful piece, gone, bent. No one knew where it was. Uh, so I started to ask the Lord Mayor. The Lord Mayor got curious. He started to, to look around. And after about eight months, we actually found it in the council chamber. The Lord Mayor had it restored, went up on display, uh, and now it can be down. Um, as this photo shows again a few years ago, uh, at the top end of the Queen Street. And there is a YouTube on the making of this particular piece by Barley, by Barley Oaks. And it's just an amazing piece of, of technology, the way that it was put together. And there is a system piece to this uh, over in Western California. Um, and as the sun goes down on it, the sun rises on this particular piece. Uh, it's just Amazing attention to detail by Barley Oaks, uh, and he was so happy when this piece was restored. He's even more happier that it's now seen by thousands every single day. Um, so here we are. So John McGregor uh, on the left up there doing a presentation after visiting yet another expo in South Korea. Uh, Nathan, as you can see, is down operating the PowerPoint. 
Um, you can't do two things at once, unfortunately, so he's over recording today. I recorded that one. Uh, and then you can see Nathan and Isabella in front of uh, the Marquette, um, and then Nathan's holding uh, what are, it's really one of my most favourite photos and memories uh, of the work for Expo 88, because you can see there's a poster of the Quickleborough Queen.